Today, we'll be making tacos, the best thing created by mankind. And you know, we can't have plain tacos. That's just not right. So I'll be making two simple but delicious green salsas, one with a bigger kick than the other. You know, for those friends who still can't handle the heat. And obviously topping them off with fresh onion and cilantro. So let's get started. The first salsa I'll be starting is the one with less heat. You'll need a quarter of an onion, one serrano pepper, three jalapenos, two garlic cloves, one avocado, a small bunch of cilantro, chicken bouillon, salt, and black pepper. Now the way I'll be making this salsa is by first cutting my jalapenos and serrano pepper into small enough pieces. Why you might ask? Well, these will be put into a pan to fry with the onion, which we will also be cutting into small pieces. I'll also be adding the two garlic cloves to the pan. The reason why we are frying the chiles is to add more texture and more flavor to the salsa. So make sure not to skip that part. Once our chiles and onions are fried, I'll throw them into the blender. I'll skin and remove the seed of the avocado, add the cilantro, and finish off by adding a small amount of water, chicken bouillon, salt, and black pepper. All of these to your liking. We'll blend this for about a minute or until all the ingredients are well incorporated. And now that it's done blending, all we need to do is place it in a container and put it aside for later. Now this salsa is the spicier one. For this one, what you'll need is two jalapenos, three serranos, three tomatillos, cilantro, onion, and garlic clove. For this one, we'll be boiling the ingredients, so add your water, tomatillos, jalapenos, garlic clove, and a quarter of onion. Turn the stove to high heat and let it come to a boil and until the tomatillos and chiles are soft. Once soft, take them off the heat and put them in the blender. Add a little bit of water from the pan, add chicken bouillon, salt, black pepper, cilantro, and juice from one lime. Let this blend for a good minute, then serve and set aside. Now let's chop some onion and cilantro for our tacos and move on to cooking the meat. Here I have about two pounds of taco meat. This is Angus beef chopped into small pieces ready to throw on a flat top or a pan. So let's get started. In a pan add a splash of oil, add your meat and let it cook until it reaches a nice dark brown color like we have here. Now this step is pretty easy. You can cook it as is and let the flavor of the meat do its job or you can go ahead and add some salt and black pepper just to elevate the flavor. Once our meat is cooked, we'll set it aside in a container like we have here and cover it up with foil. And let it sit while we quickly heat up our tortillas. My choice of tortillas is El Milagro, which is by far the best kind in my opinion. But I believe you can only find in some places around the US. So if you don't have any, you can suffer any other tortilla you'd like. Now to heat up the tortillas, I like to add a bit of oil either onto the pan or onto the tortillas. This just adds a little more flavor to our taco. Now that we've finished heating up our tortillas, it's time to make our taco. Start off by placing the meat first, then add onion and cilantro. Add the delicious green salsas, and finally, all there is left to do is dig right in. So, let's start off with the not so spicy salsa, which is very, very tasteful and creamy. Now let's move on to the next taco. And you know what? I really like spicy, so why not add some more salsa? This salsa is spicy, but amazingly good. Well, there you have it, tacos, the best thing to happen to mankind. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time.